How you going guys? Welcome back to another video. We have um, a 2010 Ford Focus. And I'm just showing here at the start with it's a no start, non-runner, whatever you want to call it. Um, crank, no start. Crank weirdly, but crank and no start. Engine management, we have no fault codes, anti-lock brakes, electronics, no fault codes. Um, on we go down. In airbag, we have faults, crash sensor circuit, driver ID error, crash sensor circuit, passenger ID error, and then we have seatbelt pretensioner circuit open. Okay, other than that, we're in the clear. But, now, this is kind of a one that came in a while ago. Wait till we see this. This is, I, I would class this now as something that you guys are going to find interesting. I'm, I'm more than say I'm not finding it interesting really as of yet, because I don't know what's actually wrong with this thing. But, what you doing? Hopefully, you'll be able to hear this. Okay. So she's, did you? It's turning over and then stopping. So it's, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Now I can, I can override this. Just looking to see if the ignition's on. I can override this by getting in to my, that's my starter relay here. Uh, I can make a crank, but it won't do it of its own accord. Now, I'm going to show you this, and I'll tell you in a little while how we discovered this. And this is not the fix now. This is only just seeing something, noting something that is, um, seems to be weirdly having a strange knock-on effect. Now, I haven't got a clue what's going on here, but if I disconnect the four injectors, okay, you go back around again. Now when I crank it, whoop. battery's getting flat, but she she cranked away mad when the four injectors are disconnected. Now I wasn't really working on this car so far. We have been thinking along the lines that the engine ECU was faulty or gone. Something happened inside it because I had something similar to this before. Not uh, too long ago where it was doing that kind of the same cranking. But we got another engine ECU and it's, it's out of another car that was actually here in the garage belonging to myself. We pulled the ECU kit out of it, we turned it into it and it's doing the same thing. Now what were we seeing? We were thinking and hoping that we had an issue with cam and crank. Not even cam and crank, but maybe the crank sensor because Matt the mechanic had an issue where he had a Fiesta wouldn't start and I sent him a message one day saying, I have one coming in tomorrow. And he said, oh, you'll figure it out. But we scoped our crank signal. It's kind of strange and funny. I'll have to get a, a scope trace of it. But what it's, what it's doing is we have some kind of an interference in the crank signal. Now, when we can tow this and it'll start and it'll run, up to two and a half thousand RPM. Very hard to get it to run because of the this disturbed or bad signal from the crank sensor. It's acting silly. Tries to go, doesn't go. Nearly kind of sputters and farts. All this kind of weird stuff. But it will run. Well, it's run, it's run, and it runs kind of bad. But we were scoping the cam and crank sensor signal at the ECU when it was running. Now, when it's running, from the injectors, we have a queer, nice signal all the way up, nice reference point. So that's where we'd have maybe on, off, on, off. So 12 volts, zero, 12 volts, zero, all the way to the reference point. And at the reference point then, it was, again, cool, but on she'd go. But I'll, I'll have to record and show you. When it's running, there's some kind of disturbance high up where the voltage is, has it's nearly going above what it should be if it's a 12 volt signal, square wave signal, square wave signal. I'm getting this weird stuff happening. And at four pints between the two reference pints, or is it four pints between, I'll have to get it up and, and see. Our signal is weird when it's running. Rev it up, 2000 revs, she dies, boom. And when it dies, the signal comes good when the engine is spinning on the downturn. Again, possibly when the car is not firing the injectors. So this is kind of a funny one. No fault codes and that queer stuff going on. I'll have to get a, a scope and I'll show you the, the waveform of the, I'll actually get it running and show you the waveform of the crank signal when we're looking at it, okay? Okay, I was just walking away and I noticed 
car was involved in an accident. So, hence, bits of, of these plastics and stuff being off. But I see in the boot, I had an airbag control module, so I'm after taking out the control module out of the boot, plugging it in instead of the other one, and I went in and I just checked to see, and funnily enough, I've no airbag light on. I had an airbag light on, just had to plug it in the old module, but there's no, no codes. So now I don't know if this is going to make any difference, but I said I'd record it just for the crack, okay? Um, go to other systems. But I just turned the key. Sometimes it's hard to know. Jeez. Curious now to see with, the, with this in it, what's happening? No, oh, the same crack is still there. That's what's happening on here the starter motor is doing doing weird stuff okay but anyway interesting enough that the no airbag light on anyway so good start okay guys this might be seen as real crazy stuff but it's getting late I might be going home curiosity is killing me um when i'm turning the key i'm seeing weird stuff at the crank position sensor there's my crankshaft position sensor scoping on the signal wire up at the ecu i'm seeing this what do I call it? Interference. Coming from injectors. Can't can't figure out if I disconnect the four injectors, this thing cranks over like bejesus and it should like it should do. Um, I'm believing that the crank signal, PCM is not happy with the crank signal. And then at that point in time, it decides to not spin it or not turn the engine. This is what I'm thinking. Intermittently, oh I'll turn it, oh I won't. Oh I'll turn it, oh I won't. So I'm going to do a nutcase thing. And you're seeing it now. Which everyone will be shouting at the screen saying, oh don't. The signal wire is the middle wire. I'm just going to verify, yeah. Signal wire is the middle wire. Now, and I'm going to go and going to do, don't do it, this is. Right, anyway, it's just done. Here we go. Just turn on the ground before we go, before we go home. What I'm thinking is, if I have any form of a short in my wire between point A with a crank, we'll go around that way, point A where the, where the crank sensor is, and point B where the ECU is, and if anywhere along the line, because I'm looking at my injector wires are coming back up and down and around, so it's, it's they're into the same loom, they're not together somewhere down here, and I have this strange signal thing that you didn't see yet, but I don't know, I'm at the cutting it there. Now, I'm going to do something else, more crackers. It's on block, block, connector B, and it's B1, B, block connector B and B1. So, A, B, and there's one. There is my crank signal wire, I believe. I'm just after looking at the wiring diagram there now. Oh, don't be falling on me now. Ah, creaky, sure I can't. I won't be able to turn it over now without a booster pack, so maybe I'll have to start again. What I'm nosy to see, and I know this is, as, as you will say, I will do a good mend on it before everyone starts giving out to me, but... One, two, and three. Just like you look, and there's the three wires from the crank sensor. Never seen that, okay? You seen this? Don't do it! Anyway, hey, we're gonna do it! All right, sound. Okay, so our crank signal is gone. Now I wonder, will this thing turn over? I'm gonna back in to get me booster pack. Have my booster pack back, up, back on it. Um, I suppose the funny thing is if I turn the key and it doesn't do anything, I can delete this thing. If it does, hey. Right, we're just going to see what, so if that wire from point A to point B is being affected by them injectors somehow, shorted out, touching off them, something, I could do loads of tests. This is late in the evening, feel like going home, don't want to be standing here and very, very curious. So I'm cycling the key on and off. Whoa. She's cranking. Did you see that? Boy. Okay guys, what I've done, as I said there, probably brutal. We have the signal wire coming from the we're going crank sensor out, might be a little bit hard, and my fancy, real fast, giant aroo of a signal wire, okay? Trying to bypass the loom. You've seen that the car cranks out the wire all the way over here, and I'm just out there again, brutally joining it back into my signal wire. What's going to happen here? When we turn this key, this is, um, I don't know, funny. When I say funny stuff, I don't know, it seems to be funny. 
Come on, baby. No, this could be an input. So, okay, so now she's starting to act funny again because of the wire. So maybe this signal is going to be brutal. Didn't work. Anyway, okay, cool. Got to start again. Yeah, now this thing is doing the same thing again. Okay. Okay. Not the wire anyway. Cool, okay, guys, this is the way the Ford runs after a tow, and here is our cab and crank. Waveforms, we can see there's some kind of discrepancy. One moment. And uh, we'll go back again. Okay, sorry. Back over here. This is again. We can see there's some form of a weird discrepancy happening here. Okay, we're just going to go close this. Okay, we get her running again, okay? We're going to have a look at this while it's cranking. Okay guys, here's our cam and crank waveform. Once we're cranking, you can see some major discrepancies here. If we just look in here, we're losing our cam waveform totally it's just all over the place but that cram and crank is just really crap whatever is causing this okay coming back a little bit right affecting the starter motor as you've seen and all that crack and it's starting to maybe improve again a bit there when it speeds up but once we turn the key, this is what we're seeing, whatever the heck is going on here. Okay guys, <clears throat> this car has been sitting outside for about six months. Cobwebs all over, another cobweb hanging down here. I got a bit of a quiet day and I said I need to get this thing in and do something with it. Has to go, has to be cleaned up, has to be gone. We don't want it in here any longer. We started thinking the worst. Where are we at? Do we need an ECU? As we've changed it, do we need an ECU? Probably not. I know the temperature sensor, the exhaust temperature sensor was disconnected out of it. What the heck is going on? Pico scope was out. We were going to try and start seeing what the heck was happening. And lo and behold, I was standing there and getting set up for the hard and heavy repair. And I was looking in my fuse box. That's the cover. Six months ago, I took off the starter relay because it wouldn't crank right. We had repaired the wire for the crank sensor that I cut. And I was looking. Lo and behold, saw a fuse blown. I looked at my cover. F36, engine management. Change the fuse, turn the key, cranked, sweet as a nut. And after a bit of cranking, because it stopped at six months here, and lo and behold, she fires up. And that's it running at this point in time. What do you do with that, eh? Okay, guys, a bit of bonus footage. Just a waveform after we have, um, after we have changed our fuse and got it up and running. You just can see cleaner, tidier. Signal all together, okay? Just for a hey-ho, that's where we're at. Uh, 
I'm sure every thought went through my head. Block click, there's an ECU being wrong. And all fresh running through what we done six months ago. Where we were at. Wasn't cranking spikes from the injectors being seen in the crank waveform. Uh, anyway, there we go. Closing this up. I may or I may not put it up. I don't know. It's that old. I even have to transfer from an old phone onto this phone. So I'd have it if ever I want to do a follow up. I don't know. She's running. We pulled it out today to get it going. It's going. The generic smile is in the face today, but oh, there's a little bit of a kind of a in the background. But anyway, look, if any of my hints and tips, forward focus. Cranking no star with crank interference in the, which sorry, injector interference in the crank waveform. Hey ho, car going. Please like and subscribe if my hints and tips are any good to you whatsoever. F36 fuse, it was actually far. We were getting two faults to do with map sensor and map sensor and crank sensor. I'm coming up a bit closer in case you can't hear me. And uh, yeah, look, there we go. I'm just closing it down at that, boys. Talk to you soon. See you again. See you next cartoon.